So a good patient for breast augmentation is someone who wants volume, who wants fullness, but at the same time the nipple is already in a good position and there's not a lot of excess loose skin. What is the right breast implant? So it starts with the measurements. It starts with objective measurements from each particular patient with what a patient's current state is and then sort of ideally where they want to be, that put together with the projection helps determine the overall volume. So modern day plastic surgery, not only do we understand that technique is really important in terms of reducing complications, but we also know that it helps patients get back to normal activity faster and we know that it's okay. Minimal if any narcotics and uh, there's a series of exercises that we start right away so patients can even be out and about at dinner that evening. Still, they have to know they had surgery. They still have to take care of themselves. So we don't want patients to think they have to have bed rest for a few days. Uh, it's a very straightforward procedure these days. Once we've done the breast augmentation, I see the patient through their initial recovery to the point where everything is settled and patients are happy. But they're not permanent devices. So I like to see those patients every year. It doesn't take long. It's a very quick checkup just to make sure they're doing okay, everything looks fine. Their breasts are gonna change throughout the years and I wanna be there to sort of coach them through. And if we need to do something in the future, then I'm there to take care of them.